Yesterday I asked you guys on Twitter where I should photograph sunrise here in Berlin and you guys overwhelmingly said Brandenburg Gate. So that's where we're headed right now. It's a little bit rainy, but we're gonna make it work. I so needed that night off last night from conference and conference activities. It's exhausting. I mean, it's like 9 a.m. starts all the way until like two in the morning if you're networking, sometimes later. And then if you're vlogging, it's like a couple hours edit. And there's something about conferences, there's something about, you know, these places that are just full of people that have this white noise and it just, wow, it, it's just exhausting sometimes. And then since I went home early, I can shoot photography in the morning and that's awesome. So I'm like a couple blocks from Brandenburg Gate. The light's probably gonna be terrible, but I don't care. I'm shooting photography and not in business meetings. That's awesome. I'm kind of gonna just guide you guys through kind of the making of a morning shoot when you're a travel photographer vlogger and you're not just shooting photos if you were just a travel photographer you might have one maybe two cameras out shooting but right now I've got this camera shooting photos I've got my GoPro down there on the ground shooting some time-lapse video and then I'm also running around taking hyperlapse and smooth video with this gimbal and with the Sony a6300. On top of all that, I'm also taking a couple videos with my phone. So really I've got four cameras working here in the morning and that's just a normal day in a life shooting travel photography as a travel vlogger. Kind of crazy, right? I've just taken some extremely average photos of the Brandenburg Gate here, and I think I'm gonna move on. There's like the, I think it's Parliament, or it's something like Parliament over there. And I photographed it last time I was in Berlin, and it's a really cool looking building. The light's almost done, blue hour light, and I don't think we're gonna get sunrise light, so I better move. The light's basically done. It was a pretty typical blue hour and it was fun to be out here shooting. I found a puddle. If you're a photographer and the light's ugly, find puddles. Puddles change everything. They change the game. Puddles are game changers. Anyways, I've got to get back to work. So I'm going to go get a coffee and then get prepared for today's meetings at the conference. I'm back at ITB. I am back to work meetings all day today. Not that crazy of a day. I think I've got six meetings. I think I've got Okinawa, Montreux. I, I don't know who I have today anymore. I have Morocco as well, I think. But yeah, five or six meetings. Should be a much calmer day than yesterday. And then there's a big party tonight. So let's see how these meetings go and then sort things out for later.
Half the day is already busted through and it's going fantastic today. Fantastic. Had less meetings. I've only had three, but all three have been just just perfect, absolutely awesome. And I'm excited and full of optimism and really stoked. I kind of took yesterday night off and went out shooting this morning because I feel refreshed, revived. I feel good. I feel really good. Excited to uh, continue these meetings. I got like three more left and then uh, heading to a party tonight and I can't wait. I'm stoked. I'm in such a good mood right now. I, I did not, but I found the fermented horse milk, which is, <laughs> you want some fermented yeah. horse milk in, in and around your mouth? All right, it's right here, one second. One shot of fermented horse milk coming up. In Mongolia, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it's not that great, but we'll get your reaction right now and see you think. Thank you so much. It's delightful. All right, nice. <laughs> Three words. Why do people drink it? Well, I don't know, that's a good question, but... All right, yeah, watch it down with beer. A beer chaser for fermented horse milk. Can I have a beer full you. one? <laughs> <laughs> Adults. There's people waiting to get in the door. There's nobody. I don't understand how these doors work. How do I get out of this place? Just go for it. No, no. And we're industry professionals. We're professional travel bloggers. We come with a serious attitude. We do. We're <laughs> so serious. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Deep into the jungle of ITV, there are rhinos. Wild rhinos. Did you know, Dave, that there's no rhinos in the jungle? All right, guys. What? You said you're going to want to be in the vlog, and then you don't even come over and hang out. Okay. What are we doing? We are now going for something to eat because we have the last night gathering, also known as party. 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 What happened to your voice? You always sound like this. Um, this is what happens when you have to meet lots of industry professionals and have meetings and talk about yourself and your blog, and then you end up sounding really sexy after five days. She's days. totally lying. You don't lose your voice at the meetings. You lose your voice partying oh. after the meetings. Girls, I know it hurts to lose your guy. To another. So Dave and I decided to ditch the girls because girls are boring and get sushi rather than dumplings. Sushi. Oh yeah. So the party we're going to, the party we're all on our way to is at Circus Hostel right there. And it's actually a guy named Cash's birthday. Cash is a legit awesome guy, one of the most genuine people you could ever meet and uh, it's his birthday he runs a website called budget traveler so you guys should check out budget traveler the best part about this party and it's like an annual thing because it's a birthday is that it's hassle hoff themed so it's the don't hassle the hoff party everything's hoff and it's gonna be some fun It was super authentic and everything, and I didn't have it recording. Now it's super authentic. This is how we look. Cheers. Cheers, man. Happy Cheers. birthday. There's nothing more attractive than a girl wearing a David Hasselhoff mask.
Last night was so much fun. It turns out it wasn't just Cash's birthday, it was also Greg's birthday, as Greg wasn't actually supposed to be there, but there's like this um, airline strike or, or something like that going on here in Berlin. So Greg was around for his birthday as well, which was awesome. Um, it was so good to hang out with people, but I'm so tired. We were out until like seven or eight this morning at the after party and I should probably be sleeping. I've got meetings again today at ITB, just a couple. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys today on today's vlog. I'll see you guys later. Peace.